Congratulations on buying your H2 or Helium. I'm here to run you through a quick guide on how to rig it up properly, make sure you don't damage the sail and make sure you get the most out of it on the water. First of all, there's an elastic toggle here and you unclip that from the nail pride tag. This will allow you to roll the sail out and try and roll it out in a nice flat area where there's nothing sharp around, nothing, nothing that could damage your sail. Make sure that the sail is rolled out all the way before coming to thread the mast. Next you need to grab your mast. You need to make sure that there's no sand on the mast join here. Um, sand could mean that the mast will get stuck together and then it'll be difficult to pull it apart while you uh, finish sailing. And the other thing is it could mean that the mast doesn't join together properly which would be dangerous for the mast because you need to have a flush connection here whenever you're sailing. Push the mast together, make sure it's nice and tight. Next you thread the mast up through the luff sleeve enters through the tack fairing here and you want to push the mast above all of the cams. Um, make sure that the mast is slipping in on top of the cams otherwise it's going to be very difficult to put the cams on once you've finished rigging. Uh, the opening should be pretty wide because there's a tensioner in there to keep the, the luff sleeve open while you're threading your mast and then once again make sure it goes above the second cam above the boom. Grab onto the little strap here and push the mast as far as you can easily without stretching the sail too much. And then once it gets tight, you walk up to the boom opening and you thread the rest of the mast up into the sail from there. It pops all the way into the top. You come back down to the bottom of the mast, grab the strap again and put it all the way to the bottom. It's important that you walk back to the top of the sail and check that the head cap is in place. There's a little conical head cap that goes inside a round hole on the top of the mast and that needs to be in there so that the mast doesn't pop out while you're sailing. On the way back down you need to check that the mast's together. There's a little arrow here that shows you where the mast join should be. Just rub your fingers here to make sure that the mast's together. Then you can come back and put the down hole on. Next you need to set your mast extension to the recommended setting. That'll be printed here on the bottom of the sail. You push the pivots up in the clamp and then you twist it to the side a little bit. You can move it up and down find the recommended number and then the little pins should pop into the holes and slide the bit of rubber back down onto the top. Then you push the mast extension back up inside the mast, fold up the tack fairing to give you easy access to the pulleys so that you can thread the rope nice and easily. Each Neil Pride mast extension has a number, one, two and then the cleat so it's very obvious which way you need to thread the rope through the pulleys. You start with the furthest one away from the mast and go through number one and through the middle go through number two, back up through the third one and then you put the rope through the cleat. Next you need to sit down and, and pull enough downhaul so that the mast is exposed in the opening so you'll be able to put the boom on. Then you need to adjust the boom to the correct setting which is printed on the bottom of the sail here. That's very easy to do. You just unclip the levers on these pin locks, slide the boom out to the recommended setting and then clamp the pin lock shut again make sure that it clips into place so that the boom's solid. And you thread the boom over the bottom of the sail and move up to the boom cutout. You've pulled enough downhole on here so the mast's very easy to get to and the sail's the right way up with the back cams facing up to the sky so that means that the tongue of the boom can easily slip underneath the mast and then the rope will go around the, the clamp on the tongue and you can push the clamp down. You need to make sure it's nice and tight so that the boom doesn't slip down but you don't want to over tighten it because you can end up breaking the rope here or you could damage your mast. Then you move around to the tail end of the boom. You're going to need to apply around two centimeters of outhaul from neutral before putting the cams on. Every Neil Pride boom comes with this loop loop go system so it makes it very easy. You push the loop down through the eyelet, you loop it around the horn and then you pull on two centimeters of outhaul from neutral. Next you need to go back down to the bottom of the sail Release all the downhaul. The outhaul will keep the sail nice and tight. Make sure there's no downhaul tension on there at all. And then you can move up to the canvas. You need to unzip both the zips. And then it will be very easy to put your hand in through the zip, push down on the bottom where it joins to the cam and clip the cam into place. And the one above the boom, also very easy. When there's no downhaul on here, it's extremely easy to do that and the outhaul is helping pull the sail tight so that you can get the, the cam onto the mast. Then you come back down to the bottom, sit on the floor again, and it's time to pull the downhaul. You can tie a bowline 
to help you be able to pull the downhaul or you can use a stick or, or an easy rigger. Push with your legs so you don't hurt your back and you pull the tension onto the sail nicely like so. Once you put the downhaul in the sail you need to come back to the cams, reach inside and, and check that they're square to the mast. Sometimes as you pull the downhaul on it pushes the cam upwards a little bit so push from the top make sure the cam's securely in place. These ones are both nice and tight so then you just need to close the zipper, close the other zipper, walk back down to the bottom and fold the tack fairing down. Next you fold up the rope and tuck it away neatly and then it's going to be time to go and pull the correct outhaul onto the sail. The outhaul settings are printed on the bottom of the sail. Uh, the outhaul is always calculated from the front edge of the mast in the middle of the boom opening to the very back tip of the sail, right behind the eyelet. Obviously if your boom's higher or lower than that, that might mean that the boom seems shorter or longer. So if you want to double check your settings, you can get a measuring tape and take it from the front edge of the mast in the middle of the boom cutout to the back of the sail here right behind the eyelet. You pull the outhaul onto the recommended setting, pull the rope through the cleat, tie the rope off, and you're ready to go and enjoy the conditions. Once you've finished sailing, it's time to de-rig the sail. There's a certain order to make things as easy as possible and also to make sure that you don't damage the sail at all while you're packing it up, ready to go home. First, you unclip the outhaul. Very simple with all the neopry booms because of the loop loop go system. You unclip the cleat, unloop the rope from the horn, and then the loop pulls back out from the sail. Then you walk around to the front of the boom, unclip the clamp, unloop the rope from the tongue of the boom, make sure that the tongue doesn't get caught on the luff body, and then twist the boom down to the bottom and it pulls off nice and easily. On the H2 and the helium, you need to open the zippers first before you release the downhaul. That'll make it nice and easy for the cams to pop off. You come to the bottom, fold up the tack fairing, release the rope, and all the Neil Pride extensions have the cleat facing upwards. So you're just gonna need to wrap the rope around your hand, put your foot on the extension, pull up gently, and it will unclip. Then you release the downhaul, release it all the way, pull the rope out of the cleat and you can walk up and you can very easily just push the cams off the mast from inside the zippers where you opened them before. Come back to the bottom, unloop all the rope and pull the extension out. Every Neil Pride sail has a little loop at the top where you can put a screwdriver through and push it down into the grass. That will allow you to pull the mast out without crinkling up the sail, and it'll leave it ready for you to roll up. If you twist the mast gently, as you're pulling it out, it'll help to keep the mast together, and then just slowly pull it out, separate the two parts, and the sail's ready for you to roll up nice and flat without any wrinkles. Pull out the screwdriver. You need to roll the sail up nice and tightly. This will stop it from getting damaged in the bag if it gets squashed by anything. You start very tight from the top, and roll the sail down nice and evenly over every batten. You should keep squeezing as you're rolling and every time you get to a new batten the sail should still be in line with the batten so that it's not crinkling and not folding over at all. Once the sail's rolled up nice and tightly you can reach in, pull out the elastic loop and loop it around the Neil Pride tag. That'll keep the sail nice and tight, ready to put it in the bag and safe for storage.